Hey guys, what's up? This is A20 Productions with a very cool tutorial on keyframing and the basics of using Video Copilot's Twitch. So let's start off by going to After Effects and starting a new composition. Um, whatever. Alright, All right, so um, start off keyframing. I'm just going to make a text layer by clicking here. Type in, in Alex20 Productions. So the first thing I'm going to show you is when adding, um, when just transforming it. Um, so if you guys want to change the position or anything like that, scale, size, rotation, opacity, opacity, all you have to do is click on this little clock type thing right here, right next to the word, and it sets a keyframe at whatever value it is right now. Um, so if you see right here, it sets a keyframe. It sets a keyframe on the timeline. If you go a little bit further out, you see. Um, and if you make another change to it, like if we move that down, or say we just move that over here, it changes. It adds a keyframe right there because that clock thing is turned on. Now, if you want to go through your keyframes, you can just hit this arrows from right to left, and it just takes you from one point, one keyframe to another, and. Uh, if you hit the button, it gets rid of the keyframe. So, if you want to make that, if you want to move this text object, if you want to move this text object, God. Ah, I keep selecting stuff. Sorry about that. Like, so you want to move this text object out over here at at the zero second mark. It'll move over there very slowly because the keyframe's all the way out there. It'll move for, um, to one point to another within that two seconds. If you move that keyframe in a bit, it'll happen a lot faster. And see, you can tell it looks really like not smooth because it's going linear. So if, if, you, if you use a graph, you get to see it right here. It looks really, it's just really linear from here to here. So why don't we change that a bit right now? I found that. So there's multiple points right here. First of all, let's first make this keyframe come a little bit further out. Now we go into the graph. Turn that on. Why don't we just add a new keyframe? So it moves really slowly, really linear. Linear. It does. It starts and stops at the same exact speed, same speed throughout. So if you look right here, linear, right? So why don't we move that around a bit? Like that's the speed, by the way. So if we drag this out like this. It's really different, right? So the speed, if we move this in a bit, move that in right there. See, the speed changes. So if you mess with these settings for a while, you'll be able to get the settings right that you want, in which the speed will start off slow, get faster, and then slow down again at the end. Be really smooth. So the graph editor is a really good way to um, keyframe. So now why don't we move on to Twitch? So let's go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Twitch. By the way, this is by Video Copilot. It costs um, some money, but not too much. It's pretty reasonable. It's a really great um, effect. Just go to videocopilot.com and you'll be able to get this effect. Um, and by the way, this is just keyframing in general, so if you watch this, it'll just help you out. It's not just for Twitch. So um, when you get Twitch, you notice you apply the effect nothing happened, right? Well, that's because um, it's not supposed to happen. Nothing's supposed to happen yet. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. To make something happen, to use the effect, you have to go to the enable um, button right here. Just hit the down arrow right there. Start enabling what you want. So let's just do scale and slide right now. And you'll see a problem at the beginning. So what seems to be a problem with this right here? You can see the border very clearly. You can see that it's like this 
rectangle border. To fix that, go to behavior, go to the border thing, and hit expand. So now the A20 productions can go anywhere, right? Now, if you want to control this, you have to use keyframing. So you go to effects, hit the down arrow on your text layer, effects, twitch, then go to operator controls. Now, whichever ones you have selected, in this case scale and slide, you just hit the down arrow on that, and then you can change the amount, mess with all the settings, keyframing it, so you want it to start off with nothing, and then for like a second, let's make that zero, then a little bit later, you want it to start happening, so something to start happening, let's make that 60. So let's turn off slide for now, just so you can see it's happening, let's center that. So look, nothing happens, and then suddenly it just starts happening. And so if you want to change the origin as well, you can change that. So it'll start moving in that direction. So it basically just starts popping out at whatever time you want. Now if you set another um, keyframe here, just hit that button, you can navigate through all your keyframes, and you press 0, it'll only go on this part. And if you really want to, you can use this in like a bunch of keyframes in one um, to on the timeline and you can sync it to music like that. You can also add an algorithm somehow um, but if you have any questions about that I can find that out and you can sync that to your music. If you want to know how to sync to your music um, comment on the video and um, I can go more in depth onto that um, and I will do a tutorial on that so just comment on this video for any ideas. Um, if you have any questions, just comment or send us an email. We'll be answering that within one to two days. And just thanks and subscribe. You'd be really helping us out. Once again, any questions you have, doesn't matter how stupid you think they are, I can answer them in the comments. So peace out, you guys. Subscribe. Thanks.